By the end of this video, you should fairly be able to determine how much it will cost you to own a Tesla Model 3. Also, in the end, I will discuss why you may not be eligible to get a full federal tax credit of $7,500 for the Model 3. Now, I will use this spreadsheet to show you the calculations and you can download this spreadsheet from my website at the link in the description box below. Let me quickly show you where. So once you go to my website, you will find this spreadsheet titled Tesla Model 3 Worksheet under the spreadsheet option. So many of you might already know the list price of Tesla. Let's go to Tesla's website and right at the bottom here, you will see that the list price is $35,000 and you can reserve one for $1,000. Keep in mind that this is before incentives and any add-on package that you might choose to install at the time of the purchase. Also, they have stated that the production begins in mid-2017 and the delivery estimate for new reservation is mid-2018. Now, if you go a little bit deeper into this, in their FAQ section, Right here, they say that once a production begin, we will begin starting on the west coast, moving to east. So this will likely be starting with California, which is where the company is headquartered. So for the rest of the video, we will use California as a base for calculating our cost of ownership. But you can change the input on the spreadsheet depending on where you live in the world. Once again, you can download this spreadsheet from the link in the description box below and I will also be providing links to all the other reference website that I will be using in this video. Now let's enter our list price as $35,000 here and also let us enter the reservation amount of $1,000. The sales tax and registration fee usually is about 10% in California. Now this could be less, this could be more depending on where you live you can input whatever amount is applicable to you in the spreadsheet when you are working with it. So to get more accurate, I visited the California DMV website and I have inputted all the required fields here and I hit the calculate fees and it gives me a grand total of $3,548. Now this include the registration fee of $310 and the sales tax of $3,238. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and input this $3,548 under the sales tax and registration fee. Now this is about 10% of $35,000 here. Now when you get a call for delivery, you will be making a decision to either self-finance the purchase cost of your new Model 3 or finance it from a third party such as a bank or a credit union. Let's say you choose a combination of both by paying a small amount from your pocket and financing the rest of the amount. This is what usually people do. So say you put $4,000 from your pocket. This is your down payment. This loan amount $33,548 is the total price minus the $1,000 that you would pay to reserve your Tesla initially and the $4,000 in down payment. Now this loan will attract some interest because the bank is not going to give you the loan for free. So in the US this interest rate is known as the APR that is annual percentage rate and it is usually quoted on a yearly basis. Now in California, the prime rate for a 60 month new auto loan is 3.54. This is the least that I could get on bankrate.com. Also if you click on this plus sign here, you will see that APR based on minimum FICO score of 700. This means that your credit score has to be really good to get this APR as low as 3.54%. Of course this could be lower and this could also be higher depending on your credit rating. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and we will put 3.54 here. Now because this is on a yearly basis and we are calculating the total cost of Model 3 per month, we need to convert this to a monthly basis. So hit equal to the annual percentage rate over 12. So that is 0.29% per month on the loan that you would be taking. 
Now the loan period is going to be 60 months and you can change this depending on your own personalized input. So we'll put 60 months here and as soon as you hit enter you will get your monthly cost of EMI that is the monthly installment you will be paying towards your Tesla 3. Now I have used the PMT function to calculate this value. You can check out my video on how to use the PMT function. Next, the insurance premium will greatly vary depending on a lot of factors. These includes the age, the marital status, the credit scores, the loyalty and the discounts from your agencies. So two people living in the same state can have a different insurance premium depending on these factors that I just spoke about. Now because the Model 3 is not out yet, we will not be able to get an accurate insurance premium amount. However, I dug up a page on Tesla's website which discusses the insurance cost for Model S. And on an average, the general sense is that you will be charge more by your insurance agency uh, over a gasoline car. This person was quoted $91 per month. Now this person was quoted $1,138 per year. So that is less than $100 per month. So in our spreadsheet, let us just put a $100 towards your insurance premium per month. Now these amounts are in negative because this is what is going out of your pocket. So it is going to be a negative on your account. Now electricity expense is going to be the final piece of information that we would need to know the cost of owning a Model 3 per month. For this we will go to fueleconomy.gov which is maintained by the US government and we see that the annual fuel cost of a Tesla car would be anywhere around $600 and upwards. So we will use the minimum amount that is the $600 in our example here. So we will take $600 by 12 months. So monthly cost would be about $50 in electricity expense. So the total cost of owning Tesla would be about $761. Now you can of course play around with this spreadsheet and you can enter different inputs to get the different results. Now if you are here with me till the end, I would like to give you two critical pieces of information. The first is how much you would save owning a Tesla over a regular gasoline car. So on the same website, if we look at how much you would save if you would own a regular gasoline car that would give you a 26 mile per gallon compared to an electric car for a car like Nissan Leaf it would come out to $3,750 in fuel cost over five years compared to an average new vehicle. Now because we use $600 as annual fuel cost for the Tesla Model 3 we will use the $3,750 of approximate saving over five years for owning a Tesla Model 3. Of course, this is not fully accurate. It will change and once the Tesla Model 3 comes out, we will know. I will update you, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Now the second critical piece of information that I would like to provide you is an update on the federal tax credit up to $7,500. Now this is a credit towards all electric or plug-in hybrid cars purchased in or after 2010 may be eligible for a federal income tax credit of up to $7,500. If you select all electric vehicle, which is what a Tesla Model 3 would be, you would be eligible for a $7,500 credit. However, I would like to caution you. If you go down right at the bottom, you will see that this credit begins to phase out for vehicles at the beginning of second calendar quarter after the manufacturer has sold 200,000 eligible plug-in electric vehicles. So if Tesla has already sold 200,000 vehicles, you may not be eligible for the $7,500. Now if you go to Elon Musk's Twitter page, you will see that on April 7th, 2016, he tweeted that over 325,000 cars were already ordered. 
now he doesn't mention Tesla 3 out here but if we go a little down and on 3rd of April which is just five days before that tweet he says that 276,000 model 3 were already ordered so I hope you found this video helpful please do subscribe to my channel for more updates and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you.